Hey guys, this is Caleb Gibbs with Gibbs Outdoor, and today we're going to be going over a personal favorite of mine, the 373 Fusion. Starting off, check out this paint job that they did on this thing. You've got the red, black, and gray. If you have a gray, red, or black truck, this is gonna be the most beautiful looking thing pulling down the road. I'm not kidding, my brother has a black truck. He put this on there and oh my gosh. I'll get some pictures of that later for you. Starting off though, first thing you're gonna ask, well hey, it's a toy hauler, does it have a generator? And my answer to that is, heck yeah, it has a generator. It's got a 5,500 EVA P Onan uh, generator. This thing can run for hours upon hours. It is one of the nicest things about having a toy hauler. And let me tell you, it pays for itself. It is awesome to have if you're ever trying to boondock, if you're ever out on a ranch and you just want to have the AC going for a little bit, that is a must have. Now what's also awesome about this is it's already got solar. It's actually running off of solar right now on the inside and the outside lights. I don't know if y'all saw it whenever the video first started, but it's got blue lights on the front of it. It is one of the most beautiful looking trailers. I cannot underestimate, under talk about how beautiful this trailer is. Coming over here, you got double lithium batteries. Uh, they're lightweight. They last a million times longer than uh, just your standard, uh, your standard batteries. Uh, they have a longer battery life, uh, 100 amp hours. These things are awesome to have on your camper that combined with the solar and the generator this thing is a moving tank it is amazing moving on we have the under pass through storage uh, that where you have your solar disconnect right here uh, you get you get good amount of storage back here but you it's so much more in the camper it is absolutely amazing we have the fuse box off right now just so you can see all the pretty colors inside of there uh, on, <laughs> on the fuse box uh, stepping back this way, we have a little place to put a TV if you want to have a nice outdoor chill sesh. You've got dual awnings that come all the way out to cover you while you're uh, to cover you while you've got your TV. You got the speakers on the side that play for the TV. All right, guys, moving on to the back, we've got our uh, we got a huge old toolbox right here packed full of tools that you might need to work on your uh, motorcycle, four-wheeler, uh, side-by-side, -side, whatever you could possibly imagine to put inside of your toy box. Uh, stepping back here, you have a full-on porch area. You can put so many people back here. It's like an actual party deck. It is outstanding. And you've got an awning on top of the porch uh, that it pulls out super easily and goes back in super easily. Uh, it's one of the most handy features to ever have on a toy hauler. Uh, it keeps you out of the ants, keeps you out of the bugs. It's got sliding glass doors, lets in natural light, natural air. It is a win, 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 win. It is amazing. Stepping back this way, we have our ladder area. You can go and climb on the roof. This is roof accessible. I could go up there and jump and dance and do whatever I wanted on the roof. I'm not recommending you to, but it is doable. This thing is solid. It's a tank. I absolutely love it. Uh, right here you have your gas fill up area where you can fill up your side by side. It's just extra gas to have whenever you're going out on a ranch or going out in the parks doing whatever you want to do. Uh, you you want to have that extra gas space for you. Uh, that way you're not having to go in and out of town all the time. Stepping back this way, this is where you fill it up. And then you've got your 50 amp. This is a 50 amp camper. Uh, I would really hope so. It's got triple AC. It is one of the nicest things ever. Uh, it keeps you cool during the summer. Super nice to have. It's got hydraulic auto leveling, meaning at the push of a button, your setup's done, just like that. And it can run off of solar, it can run off of, it. this camper is just the gift that keeps on giving with how many features come on it. You have a tankless hot water heater, uh, meaning as long as you have propane, you have hot water. Uh, meaning you, the wife, she doesn't have to get upset at you whenever the water's cold for the first 15 minutes. You have that wa hot water instantly. Stepping back this way, we have your hydraulic area. It's super easy, super, super easy to navigate. Something goes wrong, it's the easiest fix ever. It's on a bunch of wires tangled all together. They actually color code. Keystone does a color coding system, meaning it, it makes it super simple, protects and even yourself to work on if something ever does go wrong. It is one of the nicest features to have. 
Sitting back here, you have your auto leveling system. You push a button, you're done. It's self-explanatory, it's been around for years. It is one of the nicest features in my opinion. It's a must if you're buying a high-end fifth wheel. Uh, that concludes the outside. Let's go check out that inside. Starting in the camper, we're starting in the master bedroom with check out all this storage. Oh my gosh. You have sliding glass doors and this one opens like this. You have washer dryer hookup, meaning if you're boondocking, you have a place to wash your clothes while you're doing it. It's super nice. You don't have to bring so many sets of clothes. It's really nice to have. I mean, this storage just keeps on going. You have a ridiculous amount of storage as well as your own AC unit in here. Um, keeps you cold. Uh, it's all ducted meaning it's gonna come out of these little vents. And these vents are actually super nice. Uh, the more you turn them, that's the direction they go. Uh, I, was ha I had a rep here the other day showing me how, to eat, how they actually function and it is one of the coolest systems ever. Stepping back this way, you got even more storage. I mean, look at all that drawer space and then you've got under the bed storage that's hydraulic. Well, I mean, check that out. You just get unlimited storage. It just keeps on going. Um, I don't even know what all you could even put in here. Uh, so <laughs> we're gonna go into this Jack and Jill bathroom, meaning it's accessible from the bedroom and the hallway. And you've got a huge shower that you can actually sit down in. I mean, I'm six foot two and I'm able to stand without even really being close to the skylight, which is super nice. And then you also have a place to sit down while you're showering, which is also a super nice feature to have whenever you're camping. I mean, the bathroom is self-explanatory. Stepping back into the master bed or the living area, you've got dual slides giving it this super open feeling. You have residential everything, residential microwave, residential fridge, residential oven. Each one is super nice. The microwave doubles as a convection oven, uh, meaning it's a lot better than having just a microwave inside of your camper. Going over to the fridge, we have a huge, look at all this storage you have inside of your fridge. You've got the fridge space up top, freezer storage down downstairs. You got the ice box. I mean, it just keeps on going. It is tons and tons of storage. And then check out this island. If you got a place to sit for everybody, you could have the kiddos sit on that side. This thing can hold a ton of weight. I'm 210 pounds and I can, I can put as much weight on this as I want. It's not going anywhere. Uh, stepping over here, you've got a huge couch for all the kiddos to pile on, all your buddies, all your friends. You got a big game going on. You got a huge couch that reclines which is super nice, check this out, it's that easy. They're wall huggers, meaning you can go back as much as you want. And then they also heat and massage. It is one of the nicest features to have. You wanna have a relaxing game in the fall and you wanna watch the TV, you can have a place to massage your back after a long day and then also heat yourself. It's a very nice feature to have. Let's go check out the toy box. Stepping into the toy box, you get this huge spacious area that has two queen bunk beds, huge feature to have. It's one of the nicest things to have. You've got a half bath back here, meaning whenever you're up in the front, you don't have the kiddos going and bugging you whenever they have to go use the restroom at night. They can come straight into here. What's also super nice about this, they have their own TV. You can lock them in here, have the natural air coming in, give them a little couple fruit snacks and they're good to go while you're in you're in there doing whatever you need to be doing. All right, let's go step onto the porch now. Like I was telling you earlier, this has so much space. You could have, you could put a table out here. You could have an office space outside. That's how much space and how much weight this can hold. You've got an awning over the top, meaning the sun's not just constantly beaming down on you. I mean, you could put a whole party deck out here, ice chest up here. There's a staircase that goes with this, meaning you have a spot to go on and off the porch. It's another entrance, which is super nice to have. And then like I was telling you, it has the sliding glass doors that also have the bug screens, meaning bugs aren't coming in. And if you want the kid, if the kiddos want to sleep in the stars and have that natural feel of being outside while also having the safety of being inside, you have this bug screen and this system to have. Nothing is going to get in or out that you aren't going to be aware of. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to see what we've got this baby priced at, it's going to be right here. Um, and then if y'all have any questions, reach us here. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.